Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on Renewable Energy Engineering. I am Vili Trivedi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are starting the Biomass Energy and in this session we will study about very much detailing of biomass, how and when it is generated and what are the effect on which basis we get the biomass. So now let us first study the very basic theory named photosynthesis. It is generally chemical reaction by which we are getting oxygen and trees or plants create food by their own. As you have already know about photosynthesis process, so I will explain in this session in a very short. So photosynthesis basically is defined as a chemical process taking place in the plant to uh, to the interaction of the chlorophyll in the plants and sunlight by which carbon dioxide and water in the atmosphere are converted into the carbohydrates. Okay, so first understand that plant absorb carbon dioxide and water from the atmosphere. So you can see the photosynthesis chemical process in this diagram. In this process carbon dioxide react with the water in the presence of light and it will create glucose and oxygen. It has two types of reaction, light reaction and dark reaction. So we will study it in the coming up slides. So here the photosynthesis process is taking in place of two different categories as we have discussed. One is the light reaction and the other is the dark reaction. First let me explain light reaction. So now as we all know plant make their food in the presence of sunlight. Okay, with the help of a chlorophyll. Okay, remember chlorophyll. Its electrons are separated in the presence of sun rays. These electrons disintegrate into the hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen combines with the carbon and oxygen to form the complex compound. I repeat, hydrogen combines with the carbon and oxygen to form the complex compound. Okay, and as a result, the oxygen is eliminated and out of the atmosphere. So, whatever the carbon and hydrogen content, that is the food. Okay, make the food as we have discussed. Now, as we say about the dark reaction, it does not require light. The verb, word dark reaction, it means it does not require light. Okay, in this plant, it absorbs carbon dioxide through the leaves and creates such in the form of complex carbohydrate. Okay, this both processes you can see in our diagrams. Okay, now there are some factors affecting the photosynthesis process. You can assume it like sunlight, then temperature, oxygen, carbon dioxide as well as water. So now as we know during the photosynthesis process, the plant require sunlight. Okay, this light reflect some radiations but it should be of a specific value or specific wavelength. If intensity of solar radiation increases the process of photosynthesis decreases okay because the chlorophyll in the plants may, may damage with the higher radiation or higher intensity radiations. Now as we talk about the temperature which is also very very effective factor the process of photosynthesis is slow down more than 50 percentage of enzymes in the plants because inactive at a higher temperature like during the mid uh, during the summer process or during the uh, the noon time the process of the photosynthesis will reduce because of the higher radiation values okay now as you know yes oxygen Oxygen is also very very important factor. Oxygen in the atmosphere is an important parameter. You have to understand this. Or excess oxygen in the atmosphere retard the process of photosynthesis. So it requires proper oxygen and you know nearly 27 percentage of oxygen is required. Now carbon dioxide as we know it is the raw material for the photosynthesis process nearly 3 percentage of the carbon dioxide is re only required okay but if the value increases the process is also slowed down 
ओके इट विल ओनली टेक थ्री परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस एंड फाइनली वॉटर विच इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी नेसेसरी इफ सफिशियंट वॉटर इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड और अवेलेबल इन द प्लांट द फोटो सिंथेसिस प्रोसेस डज नॉट टेक्स प्लेस एंड द प्लांट्स गेट ड्राइड अप नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज नॉन एज एनर्जी प्लांट नाउ एज द वर्ड सजेस्ट वी आर गेटिंग एनर्जी फ्रॉम द प्लांट okay so the plants which are not useful in any other ways except to be used as a fuel are known as energy plants means they are specially cultivated as an alternative source of energy okay now it has two categories rapid growing plants and oil yielding plants there are basically two rapid growing it means which can uh, grow rapidly and oil yielding plants so by which we are getting oil okay now the uh, generally uh, they are rapid growing plants are along the rivers nearby lakes in the lake and seas so they grow in the water basically uh, cut and dried as a biomass seems as a biomass like seaweed alg giant californian kelp etc now the oil yielding plants like euphorbia then lathrius then Copaiba and jojoba, as well as palm trees, coconut tree, eucalyptus tree, and many, many more. The list is very long. So here, all these plants are the oil yielding plants, which can be used as energy plantation. But remember that this oil may create pollution in the world. It is yes, it is there. This oil is known as bio diesel. Uh, yes, it is a cheaper substance of the diesel, but I think it may take time for the proper processing and modification. So by modify it, we can get the proper oil from our plants. Now, let us understand what is energy plantation. So here. we have to plant fast growing plants by systematic and scientific approach okay in the larger areas for the purpose of harvesting the wood for the energy this is known as energy plantation it actually collects solar energy yields the renewable of energy in the form of fuel wood but remember it will also give us the oxygen so that our forest may grow many more times many more times than right now it is very useful it gives leaves wood and other forest products now deforestation is continuously taking place as increasing number of people are using fuel as a wood, uh, sorry uh, wood as a fuel and source of domestic as a source of domestic energy and wood, wood is also used for making furniture building construction paper making and other industrial applications so as you can understand the energy plantation is very very important for this earth and environment also so let us check more advantages for the same so first of all wood available from the energy plant is used as domestic fuel we can directly use it energy plantation helps in maintaining the economic ecological balance it means we can reduce the carbon dioxide we can increase the oxygen and so lots more energy plantation provides a renewable energy source energy plantation keeps atmosphere fear pollution free and clean then energy plantation can be done at nearly where there is a need of renewable energy sources energy plantation is also provide other forest products such as fruits gums honey etc biomass energy can be obtained from the energy plantation so whatever are the most important factor for the uh, tree plantation it is just the similar for this energy plantation now firewood production increases due to energy plantation natural oil is available uh, for the specific plant such as jojoba and energy plantation provide raw material for so shampoo car polish shoe polish and packing material in paper making industries so as you know uh, plantation energy plantation gives us only and only advantages okay it doesn't give us any disadvantage of the 
similar because ultimately it will clean our environment. Now, biomass can directly be divided and used as a fuel gold and generate heat energy. But if processed, it gives better calorific value and it is more convenient for use also. So the process is divided in two basic forms, thermochemical and biochemical. Okay, the thermochemical process is further classified in three different types as pyrolysis, hydrogasification and hydrogeneration. In the thermochemical, it has high temperature because thermal is there, so high temperature and pressure is necessary. Dry biomass is also necessary for this process. In biochemical process, the bacteria and microorganisms are used to transform in the raw material. So, biomass into the useful energy. It also has three different types like anaerobic treatment, anaerobic treatment, aerobic treatment and chemical treatment. So, this is the basic conversion of biomass energy techniques. Now, let us study about the pyrolysis technique. As you see uh, in this diagram, on what the pyrolysis is. So, simply it is the carbonization process. It is a first chemical reaction takes place at the combustion of many solid organic fuels like wood, cloth and paper. Charcoal is obtained by heating the wood until it completes the pyrolysis is done. Now I think you know the charcoal making process you have already studied uh, before coming to college. So here it have many parts uh, in the many parts of the world charcoal is still produced in semi industries by burning a pile of wood that is covered with the mud or brick. Nearly following products are made of the pyrolysis process. What are the products? Gaseous fuels like hydrogen, methane, carbon monoxide. Second one is liquid fuel like acetone, methanol, acetic acid and lighter and solid fluid like charcoal. Now as we understand the pyrolysis is very important process. So let us check the, uh, the advantages of pyrolysis, not the disadvantages. It is simple process and requires very less skill to carry out. Second one, it requires locally made chemical reactor and other equipment. Third one, it requires only slight higher pressure and the atmospheric condition. Okay. Biomass conversion efficiency is nearly 83% which is very 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 large. Biomass speed of the different types can be given to this process. Waste products are not generated during this process. So it is very important. Now let us have some disadvantages obviously. So it has to be dried out before it fed into the process. So we have to dry it out. So for the drying up we can use the solar steel process. Now it requires cleaning solar dryers. We can use solar dryers. Now it requires cleaning and filtering of oil produced during the process of pyrolysis. Now why it is required? Because it has any vegetable, any plant contain more and more water. So if oil is generated, there are the chances of containing water in it. So it is also very important. Now, the process has polluting effect on atmosphere. Obviously, when the oil burns, the pollution will be there. It is there. And the equipment and vessels used in pyrolysis get corroded and rusted. Okay. So, students, thank you all of you for watching this video. If you have any query, you can contact me. This is the very much basic understanding of pyrolysis. Okay, thank you.